just the other day, Ramesh was on our show and people were praising him, saying that the interview was very inspirational. You know, I'm a businessman, so I, I get that fight from day one. All so. sorts of great things. Now he's been called a con artist. And Shinsia, huh? the Gaza fans from all over the world have come to really give it to her. What is the contention? Ludi, as many of you already know. This song, the original song was released this week. When that in a skirt, our jeans are short shots, and rears when you walk past on YouTube, and people are saying that she stole the song because, of course, the lyrics to the original song is similar to what her version of the song is saying. We are here at Ramesh Entertainment to get their side of the story and get to the bottom of this ludi controversy. Let's go. All right, so first of all, ladies and gentlemen, gentlemen, let us talk about your general mood in this moment before we get into the nitty gritty of things. Mm, yeah, normal working mood. That's what I mean, really. And I'll have a, you know, I'm, I'm moving like an operator today. I have to answer a lot of calls. <laughs> you understand? So, but we're good, same way, man. Don't know the work, don't know the business. Important people get a lot of calls. I'm mood? relaxed. Mm -hmm. Yes. Relaxed and happy. I mean, a lot of people calling me say, don't let them get you down. No, I'm okay. I really want to send a message to all my supporters out there that listen. Trust me, they're not bothering me, so don't let them bother you. I see a lot of people DM me, me I cuss off the people. Then I'm saying, no, leave them alone. You cannot fight with these people. Mm -hmm. Just leave them alone. So I'm really relaxed. I really want to tell my supporters, don't pay them any mind either. All right, so let us get into the nitty gritty of things, Ramesh. So the song is Ludi by So Unique r Records. We have to now go back into the history. We've, talk, we've spoken a lot about the song, but let's talk about how the song came into fruition. Every detail. Uh, put it this way. I did not know Elvis. Elvis sent the song to a friend and said he would like a female collaboration with um, Vibes Cartel or feature or anything. Because right now you have a skeptical way you say. One mix song, one song with Cartel and somebody. So he said to me that um, if I would be interested, they, it's not like Elvis sent the song and say yo, Shensi, I must do it. Send the song and say, yo, what, um, they would have like a female. And because Jigga Jigga just come out and she's a new face and everything. Well, we said, okay, then fine. That's Vibes Cartel. Who wouldn't want to do a, a, a collaborative song with him? My dr I remember as a young producer, my dream was to record a song with, with Vibes Cartel. Now, I have an artist and we'll get a collab for do with Vibes Cartel. And he said, yes. Right? So... You know, um, the person was the middle person. I said to him, say, yo, here what? They thought me I kind of sticky. Me don't want to be no middle person in it. Let me talk straight to Elvis, which is so unique. Get the email, get the contact, send out the track. He sent the song. And as everyone knows the original song now, he sent the track and he said, Ramesh, this is what I want. The chorus will remain the same, but I need Shensia to do the, fem uh, do the, the verses in a female version. Right? Using as much lyrics as possible. If you listen to the song, you can see that there are changes into the song. But yes, a lot of main point was done by Cartel. At no time, we were said to write our own song. Not, now we not tell nobody to write a song. We flip it in a female version. That song was done as a man. Right? Mm -hmm. And from getting the feedback from the producers, well, the producer Elvis, he told us that this song has been tried about three times by different females to do a collab and it did not do good. Now, when we send him the track and him hear her delivery and everything, he say, yo, if I do the try, we forget this on a remix, this is the best. I mean, I know the whole poli po um, politics behind everything. I did not know at the time that Elvis and Cartel wasn't in a, in a, a good friendship or anything at the time. But at the end of the day, even if I didn't know or not, I'm going to be real to Jamaica. My artist, I get a song with Vibes Cartel, me I take it. Vibes Cartel are one of the baddest, if not the baddest, dancehall artists. And my artist, new artist now, where the world not see it, get a collab, me I take it. Because that I want to, me know my artist are one of the baddest and going to be the baddest. I suffer put her with the, the biggest lyricist. And my dream that. So who not run with that? All the hustlers that I watch, me I ask them, so who not run with that? So me take it. Mm -hmm. This everything where everybody are talking about this and that, no, I don't know about it. Mm -hmm. You understand? So back to the business now. 
Alright, so while I'm after we get the song now and the song finish mix and everything, we listen to the mix, we love it. So as a manager now I say, right, you know what? I'm going to shoot a video for this song and then release the video and the song instantly. Up on the day of shooting the video, um about two hours after we finish um shoot the video, we got a call from some people. Um say that them them representing um vibes and saying that yo we can't release the song. So I said, okay, I said, I am not the producer of the song, so you, you need to call um, Elvis, so unique. So them said, yeah, but Ramisha, you have the music video on this and that. I said, okay, but um, I have invested my money in shooting a music video already. And if anybody knows me do business, I pay for everything in a full and do my work. I do not like to owe. So I said, talk to Elvis. I said, Elvis, they must say this can't go. And Elvis is saying, how can somebody tell me say, my song can't go? Me produce the song, me have the master, me have this, me have that. He said, um, just ignore them. The person call back after. Be a tough chat and be about something or whatever. I, mean, I say, brother, you don't know who you're talking to. So just deal with Elvis. Don't call my phone and deal with you no know, certain levels or, or certain things. Call Elvis and deal with him. I'm hung up and I leave it at that. About two hours after that, Elvis blasts out the song and release it. Because clearly there was going to be a fight or there was going to be an issue. So again, he sends out the song as a producer and the manager of my artist. I am looking what's best. I cannot be sued or anything can happen to me. I know for me song. Mm -hmm. And my artist go up on the song. I the producer. So I take my chance to run with it. Instantly, in, less, in five days, the song, the video and everything. The song go out, the song run off, million views, blah, blah, blah. Then the video drop instantly, couple like a week after. One million views in five days. So we say, yo, they, they look like the, the people them love this. Yes, yeah, the other people them still ask them negative because they know uh, more than with me, you know. But to all fairness, I am working as a manager and hearing something. I don't care a few of no producer, no artist have. Me just want what's best for my artist. So, me do what me for do. Nobody from the Gaza camp where work with him 24-7, put up a video or put up nothing. So everybody where I say, yo, cartel, bust the song. Yes, a vibes cartel. And once cartel dip on something, it I got at. Mm -hmm. But... And me spend and shoot video, and it's me go road and promote the song. And I we do a little social media and get the song out there. Big up Vibes Cartel anywhere you're there because are you are the man anywhere you're there. We can't take that from him. Mm -hmm. Everybody know him bad, but at the end of the day, people need to stop and say, Yo, a Vibes Cartel, boss here. Yes, the song did a lot for her, and we can never ever tell nobody say the song there, not do the best for her. But at the end of the day, without we doing stuff. It won't reach right there. Because guess what? The song drop the same week with three, four, five I'm song drop. And which song run out? That song. Which song is still leading? From five months ago to now. That song. You understand? So what is special about the song? Yes, a vibes car tell the panic, but him do other collab with other people at the same time. Him do singles at the same time. But yet, why are this everybody love? Why are this a circulate the world? Why are this a do it? Must be a difference. <laughs> And if you listen to the new song to the old song, the new song with her sounds better. I'm not just saying that as a manager. I say that as a fan of Vibes Cartel. It sounds better. And the people saying that too. You understand? So, for all fairness, and long and short, mm -hmm. me, nobody, but me see people are talking about who are going to sue me. Nobody can sue none of we are so. Right, because that's the, my next question. In terms of the legal stuff now, publishing and royalties, who share the royalties in Ludi? Elvis don't ever want this song again. VP Records bought the song. And from what I knew, Cartel Camp got what they supposed to get. The only part of the song, business for me, is publishing for my artist. And his publicist sent us an email verifying the percentage that she's going to get so we could do our split with our lawyer and register it. Right? Mm -hmm. So everybody I thought this and thought that looking in from looking out, they don't know the full story. I may be honest with you, the only reason why I do this is because we had to do the interview if you explain to the world what is going on because you're going to have good and you're going to have bad. Negative does make us stronger like what we said on all our interview. I think what everybody get this wrong is when, when I did the interview last week and I said she write all our lyrics them. Right? Me stop promote Lodi for be all fairness. Me stop promote Jigga Jigga. I'm promoting all these new songs from DJ Frost, from Jordan, Dunwell, all of these producers, those are the new songs that I am producing. What is the big backlash? Oh, uh, yeah, pr promoting. Oh, what, is the, what is the big backlash? Everybody is saying that she has one it wonder. So, um, 
me I put gas on my song them and me I put gas on the other producer song that are singles for her and other collabs at the end of the day them need for just know say we are work towards a better artist for the country mm-hmm. you get me I say mm-hmm. but them need for really stop saying these all these negative them not gonna stop still but at the end of the day business wise the song good Nobody can carry go to court and say nothing. And at the end of the day, if you have an issue, go check Elvis, which is the producer. I don't have nothing to do with the song. So I never pay nobody for getting a song. I never do nothing for the song. The only money I spend on the song is to promote the song. You get me, I say? And VP owns the song now. Mm-hmm. So they need to just do an interview or go talk to VP or Elvis, not we. And Shinsia, to be fair to you, when you were on, on stage, you did talk about that song and how it came to fruition and the fact that it was so unique song. Mm-hmm. And that you did, they asked you to do the verses. Now, people are very technical. People want to say that, you know, you didn't say that you, you didn't explicitly say that you were asked to do over the verses. Meaning, take, the, take Cartel's words and make it into your words. So let us know, be technical. Please. Because due to how I have to spell out everything, the same thing I'm saying, I'm a freestyle, you know. Give me a pen and a paper for me write it for them read it. Some man brain tougher than some woman head when them no weave it. And these are the stuff that I'm talking about. If I said on the interview, of course, uh, Winford asked me how the collab came about. And I said, and it's actually So Unique's song, actually. Okay. Elvis from So Unique Records. Oh, Elvis. Came okay. up with an agreement with my manager, Ramesh Major, to, to do this record on the song. Who is the feature? I was the feature on the song. So it's a cartel song? Yes, that Featuring they had you. before. But they said that they wanted me to do the verses. Mm-hmm. So of course, when they do the verses and somebody else do just the chorus, they're going to say, OK, the person that did the chorus is the one that featured. Oh, I see what you mean. But I don't really see the difference, though. Whichever you put it, cartel feature and change their change their feature and cartel, we're both on the same track. I said it in other interviews I did with the Observer and so forth that I modified the lyrics and with the original being out it shows that i did modify the lyrics and i did add lyrics to the song to make it more spicier i add my own touch as elvis said i should i did what i had to do and it just been going far and far and further every time and it's that some people just cannot take i mean them them they just them just not like see people strive so i just that and you were specifically asked as ramish said to take the song and add and not change up the verses too much. Just add your own flavor to it. That happened. Yes, on, exactly that thing. happened. Hold on. She never ever spoke to Elvis. Okay. So up to now. Actually, I want them to talk to Elvis. She, exactly. So even after the song did release and everything for months, mm-hmm. she didn't speak to Elvis. Upon maybe in January, she spoke to Elvis once. Mm-hmm. You understand? So all of this that was said to Shensia was passed from Elvis to me, right. to her. Right, and she was told to not change the verses, just add her own yeah, flavor uh, to it. Because actually, the part that I said, bottom jaw, just a clap like a convention. Mm-hmm. People love the sheet spread line and people love that line. But I thought I was supposed to write the verses, so I started writing. So the little four bars that you see, bottom jaw, just a clap like a convention, when I pass my hand like extension, everything like that. I was going to start the verses that way. Then Elvis told him that, listen, no, you're not supposed to change anything. Just flip it in a girl version and sing it that way. But being the fact that the second verse needed something else because he brought back something in the song, I just said that, listen, I want that to go on the second verse. And so that was how it came about. But if Vibes Cartel don't look me in the eye and say, listen, I was the one that uploaded that version of the song, nobody can tell me see him. Because the song dropped for how long now? Mm-hmm. Vibes Cartel now nah, hear it just now. Worse, you know how much waves it has built up since? Of course, he would have put it up on all him Instagram everywhere as the song drops. Say, oh, what is No, nothing like this. So, listen to me. You see, people, they would have do it long, long time. They so, that for sure, it. yo, say something. They behind something. I mean, I don't know what's the deal with producers and I him. I don't know, but I don't feel it's Vibes Cartel. I'm not going to say him. And some of the fans have it to say that because you were on the show and said that um, Shensia writes her own music. That is what inspired whoever released the original version of Ludi to, 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 to put up that post about this was never a collab. Yeah, but as I said, Ludi job from last year. We never really had talked about Ludi overall. And if, right. me say, if me come on TV and me say, yo, my artist writes our lyrics, them, that, that me still not wrong. 
You understand? We never come out and say, yo, she write her song, especially Lodi. Or what I was supposed to say. Alright, she write all her song and she not write Lodi. You just have, we are talking about, she, she released 11 songs from last year to now. Mm-hmm. And she write 10 and a half because she still write piece of the song. Yeah. You understand? No matter what they want to say. She still add her touch. But yes, it's his song and she said it over and over. I never know oh, I was supposed over. to drop it out and say, um, right. this song was different or whatever. But as I say, them launch it something and it just gonna make the artist bigger and better. No matter how much I big up vibes cartel, I always big him up. Even when I collected my award for uh, best collaboration, I did, you know, I did big him up. I big him up when I collected the last award too. I, I think it's two times I big him up uh, when I collect my awards on stage. And then this person came under, I see somebody scream on something and send it to me and say that, listen, this girl don't give enough credit to vibes cartel. She must go to the prison and kiss cartel foot. That is how these people are, them sick. Me not go sit down and cuss with them, my people, yeah. Me not have time for it. Maybe you can tattoo it on your forehead. <laughs> no, I'm not. Them sick. Some of them just different. I'm not going to go back and forth. So I just want to tell my fans that, listen, don't do it either. Don't do it. When you're in a skirt, our jeans are short shots Head rears when you walk past You feel the eyes, believe the hype The streets delight, your leaf is fine You're just a true double sex like Lodi And in addition, I mean, when I heard all this going on I said that being the fact that I stated everything thoroughly on on stage interview that I did some time ago. I said I really want to come here to do this interview and clear up everything. You can even bring back the clip of which I said that song was a song they had before. And I was the feature, but they wanted me to do the verses of the song. So yes. And I really do not want anybody else to call me and say, come on, you're right. come on, talk about this. This is where I really wanted to do the interview. I'm done with it. It's over. I'm not touching about this topic again because I don't really, really don't feel the need to.